Hello and welcome to another episode of my F122 driver career mode here today for part 14 at the Mexican Grand Prix. Coming into this off the back of a pretty disappointing Japan, let's get into it. So we're going to be taking a whole new engine after the disappointments of Japan. So we're taking a new ICE, new MG UK and H and a new turbocharger as well. So we're going to be starting last. But before we get into the race, some very sad news that Valtteri Bottas, along with Sebastian Vettel, is going to retire from Formula 1, basically giving Toto Wolff the middle finger after demoting him this season. But anyway, let's get into the race. American Richard Ginter winning from third on the grid and what of the Honda powered cars this year Red Bull have been strong here in recent seasons can they keep that record going today we're a long way above sea level here in Mexico today which could pose some cooling issues for the cars as they make their way around this 2.6 mile lap 17 corners with top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour and watch out for potential overtaking into turns one and four Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Magnussen, Bottas, George Russell, they've taken a grid penalty, and Sonoda, Leclerc, Ricardo, Norris, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, and Max Verstappen, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Sir Lewis Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty. And Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Vettel, Pierre Gasly, and Guan Yu Zhou, Albert, and Brown. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. So it's a pretty easy one stop then, starting on the mediums, going on to the hard tyres, just like it seems to be at every round this season. We're coming to the end of the formation lap, I always forget to put these in the videos, but I do do them. I'm just rubbish at remembering putting them in, so, and I'm terrible at them, so a little embarrass myself, just like that where we nearly get it bang on, but just overshoot it. So, let's go then to the Mexican Grand Prix. As it's lights out and away we go, it's Ferrari v Red Bull at the front of the field. As there's a good start from the Mercedes. A very, very long run down into the first corner, so we have just got to be patient. As we go to the outside, and I'll send it down the inside. Many cars. We've got four or five cars of in there, round the outside of the Mercedes. And ahead there's Fernando pattering away with one of the Williams. And now, we're going to try and get through both of them. As now, down the inside we go, we get, can we get past the Williams? We do round the outside. Bit dodgy that when we get the McLaren as well, but we have to back off and give that position back. So we've gained seven positions then at the end of lap one and now this is Albon and Hamilton going wheel to wheel down the pit straight. Who's gonna win out you'd expect it would be the Mercedes as we do a beautiful move around the outside of Lando Norris. And sorry Lando, I was proud of myself with that one as we break and now the brake and sweeped round the outside and we're gonna do the same thing to Fernando round the outside probably a bit dodgy with the trap limits on the outside but we don't need to talk about that as now there's a large strong locking up but we still manage to swoop round the outside 
of Nancy's Ricardo. As we are now into the points, we're on the back of Ricardo. Can we have a look into the DRS scene? No, we cannot. But we're going to give the fans something to cheer about as we send it to the outside. And down, down the inside of the stadium section, but at this point in time, we had another issue with the engine where, thank God for the first time, it wasn't terminal, but it did mean that the engine had to be turned down to lean, which massively impacted my pace, which you can see was very, very, very strong. As Daniel Ricciardo tried to overtake us, but we managed to defend him off. Now we don't to manage to fend him off, he gets us. And that could well be it. He may well be going up the road. And he is. As now Lance Stroll comes back at us to the inside. And we do, we try and cut him back and we hold it around the outside. And the second part of the chicane, there's Max Verstappen. As there's Lando Norris. His engine's gone bang. And that is another DNF for Lando. I think that's back to back DNFs with Japan as well. As this is Verstappen going wheel to wheel with Lance Stroll around the outside at the stadium section. He hasn't really done yet though to the inside of the final corner. And now Fernando Alonso, the mighty Fernando, may well be eyeing up a double overtake as they're side by side look at Hamilton in the outside but through he goes first happen he gets past Stroll and Fernando gets past Stroll and Fernando tries to go around the outside but Fernando looked up and he has lost a bunch of positions there and now he's left battling and um, the other time of Yuki Sonoda of being Gasly as now Hamilton and Verstappen are going to be going at it as they try to hunt down us and side by side can Fernando hold on round the outside it looks like he may not have as this is Verstappen and Hamilton has got the double slip stream and Hamilton's in ascendant lane and Hamilton has spun us round right in the middle of the track Verstappen has hit us we have had to sit here in the middle of the track and that's a safety car and for the second time this season we have been spun round that time not my fault unlike Monza with Charles Leclerc and that has brought out the safety car and we had to completely stop on in the middle of the track to get our delta down Understood. Copy that. but this bring it brought the safety car, I have no idea what Lewis was doing there. He got a massive double slipstream, but Hamilton is out of the race. He hit the back of the safety car, and what has he done there? How has he managed that? So Lewis Hamilton is one to this pretty much out of this race nearly, and now has worked himself out as he hits the back of the safety car. And this is George Russell from second place. The Mercedes engine, the second Mercedes engine in this race has gone bad. This time not with smoke, so it may be a technical issue. But in the space of one safety car, both Mercedes out of the Mexican Grand Prix. And now, as the safety car comes in, we can go for it round the outside of Sir Lancelot. We're still there round the outside, we do get the job done. And now, this is a chance for us to crawl ourselves back into this race as we try to go to the outside of Foundry Bottas, who's announced his retirement. And we get the job done round the outside, just like we did to Fernando. And now, down the inside of Yuki Sonoda, we never got to really battle him early on in this race because of the engine issue that has fixed itself now. So, we can use this fresh engine again as there's Verstappen, big mistake, didn't put in the safety car. So he's 
taking himself out of it as now they goes John a sight after a big luck up from Kevin Magnuson goes through and up into third place and now we are battling the, the Danish driver for that P4 which will be our best result of this season since Monza if we can get the job done down the inside we do get the job done on Kevin Magnuson and now can we get away from the Haas we'll have to wait and see and there's still a long way to go in this race though as we skip all the way on to lap 29 we were just keeping him at jabbing distance we couldn't quite break the DRS and man listen is gonna come back at us and he does get the job done we took back in his slipstream and we tried to go to the outside of him we're half a car alongside we are full car alongside and we do hold the position we understeer off the track on the exit but we do keep that position it's the hair is so quick in a straight line this year even when when you're behind them, as soon as you feel like the DRS you're done and getting out of the DRS so that the car's behind is impossible as Magnussen comes at us again and we hold it to the outside again but has some big big twitching but around the outside we've done it again around the outside but we have a massive oversteer moment nearly dropped the back end and Magnussen may have got us this time and he has got us this time he forced us right to the outside of the track so we couldn't pin it round the outside like we were doing at turn one and with just two laps to go it's gonna be on for us to try and get this back and we are still in the DRS and this time just like we seem to do lap after lap try to go to the outside but I was thinking about this more and we have set him up beautifully for the second DRS here on lap 34 two to go round the outside we go this time he's in stopping us going round the outside and we retake P4 this was an incredible battle with Magnuson but on to lap 35 he's coming back at us and we hold it round the outside of the tyres we're definitely starting to hurt him because obviously we ended up pitting a lot earlier than we wanted to do but we are going to finish in B4 for our best result since Monza Not just victory today then but the championship as well what a spectacular season they've had, and congratulations to the whole team. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. It was great to watch as well though, wasn't it? Forget strategy, forget tyre management. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scrap? Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. That's been New Mexican Grand Prix and what a Grand Prix it was for the second time has been wiped out and the spun getting a safety car has benefited us again because we have just gone from stone dead last to P4 
and we are really starting to maybe have a chance of best of the rest this season with Bottas and Fernando not that far up the road now. In terms of the constructors we are bossing it over Alfa Romeo we really have taken the fight to them this season and we seem to have come out on top so far but there's still two races to go this season hope you enjoyed this video come back for the Brazilian Grand Prix for our second sprint weekend of the career mode but for now I hope you enjoyed the video and until that video goodbye